back and forth weather on this sunny and slightly overcast day here in Kingston. Standing right beneath the Kingston water tower right there. Love that water tower. Never ever been this close to it. Wonder how many times Gord Downey or the other members of the Tragically Hip were directly beneath or passing by from a distance and admiring this water tower for themselves. Probably many, many, many times. The Kingston Water Tower. Yes, there it is, kids. In all its magnificence, the Kingston Water Tower. And there's a spiral staircase right in the middle there that goes all the way to the top. Wow, Dad, can we go up on it? No. Had to stop off and take a look at this. RCAF 731. The size this plane. Big clear cockpit. The glass at the top of the cockpit would be really close to the pilot's head. Look at the size of the nose on it. A few little elements coming down. Mix of sun and cloud. Avro CF100 Canuck Mark V. So nose here as the elements are coming down. In the colors of 44, 414 Electronic Warfare Squadron, presented by the class of 1982. Bad. Get a good shot from the other side here. <laughs> a giant 731. Get a better picture of the cockpit up there cool to sit in there. Get the wings. Dented there. Gotta stop and film <laughs> a cool plane. Okay. Still gotta get me some coffee and wake up properly. I have not been prof properly caffeinated as you can tell. As of the recording of this, here in Kingston today, it's actually National Cookie Day. We happen to be right outside of Cook E's. It's all about the dough. It's all about the dough. Got a neon blue heart in the window, specializing in cookie dough, fresh baked cookies, ice cream, still waiting to be properly caffeinated. Milkshake sounds good. Let's see if they got some coffee and we'll see what kind of cookies they got as well. It's National Cookie Day. You have a wide variety. You got score cookies. Okay. 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 Wow. You have to have more cookies. Look at that. That's a cookie dough sandwich. Cookie dough sandwich, cake batter. Got all these couplings, special dog bones. Look at all these Oreo brownies. Cake batter balls, s'more balls, cake batter dough pops. Wow, you can get some delicious stuff here. Cookies. Oh, look at these cute doggies up here. And the cookie doggy dough. If you are what you eat, I am a cookie. Cookie. Let's see what you got going on over here, Ryan. Ryan's about to sample. You sample it on camera. This is chocolate chip cookie day. We're here at Cookies. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, <laughs> right, wait. We'll do a little cheers. Cheers to the cookie. That's really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Delicious. Good quality chocolate. That is cookie. E. Okay, so I got my hot caffeinated beverage finally. Here's the cookies. And check this out. We're gonna sample. What's that? That, that white, white chocolate. Here's your white chocolate chip. There you go. How's that one? Macadamia. Mac macadamia. Okay, that's really good. This is the s'more one. 
uh, split the s'more one. Going to test that one out. It's the one that was catching my eye. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Got little graham crackers on that thing. Mm. Yeah, there's uh, pieces of graham cracker. Nice and soft. On bite. Marshmallow. Big chocolate chips. Oh. S'more is the winner. Mmm. Have some more. Showing a few others. Ryan selected. This one's M&M's. That was Reese's Pieces. Going in for the Reese's. Very Reese. -y. Very Reese. -y. His recent bite of Reese's cookie. <laughs> and this one's M&M. &M. Okay, just standing on the corner here of a massive church. Look at this church. We're gonna get a couple good shots of this. Love to check out churches. This is a beauty. Got my hot caffeinated beverage. This is a piping hot caffeinated beverage, as Adam the Woo would say. It's burning my vocal cords. Burning my throat. Actually, gonna have to just let it cool down for a second. Get some shots of this church. I properly caffeinate myself. Old architecture all around Kingston. Including the St. James Chapel next door. Look at this church though. Staring at that. Look at those statues there in the middle. That's one beautiful church. You can see it from just about anywhere you are in downtown Kingston, so I figured out oh, might as well come get a shot of that. Look at the architecture in this stone church. The doors are open, the church is open. I'm gonna go in, I'm just enjoying my beverage. Find a few cool things. Ryan's gotta pick up a belt at Giant Tiger. We're gonna be hanging out in Kingston for the day. For the night, I guess. Just outside of St. Mary's Cathedral here. This is a good angle. Look at how tall that church is. Give you a shot from the left side of the church. And a very old house over here. A building. The one massive house. It's faces in the architecture. Real carefully, these are faces. So like they're looking at you. But the camera can make those out. Okay. Beautiful church, beautiful stone architecture. Moving on. Just gonna take a quick few shots of the Kingston Historical Society Tour Murney Tower Museum. We can go right in here. We'll go in there last. We'll just take a good walk around the perimeter first. Right on one of the sides of the waterfront, which is pretty big at Kingston. Look at that. This structure. Step into the shop after uh, taking a walk around. You're with me, living vicariously through me in these vlogs. If I'm here, you're here. Enjoy the tour today. We got lots of things we're seeing. Some more tragically hip spots. And a beautiful view of the water. It's so nice standing this close to the water on a hot day. Here, a few artifacts and stuff. Well, I think you actually have to pay. It. So it really depend on the time which I know is a called an answer. Um, on average, we have about two to three soldiers here that they live there with their families too. Oh, that's cool. Um, so the most we ever had though is we had six soldiers and 22 people in total. Wow. So this building was max 24 people capacity, okay. uh, which is hard to believe because they would only live on this floor here. Yeah. 
Superintendent of the Royal Brass Foundry in 1780. 1780. That is crazy. Look at that. This is what is up in here. The artillery sector. Those cannonballs. Yeah, it's half of Henry. So what? Yeah, once you get the four Henry. And then there's like a McDonald's. And then there's a turn to go to that uh, beach there. Arrowhead Beach. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I've been, I've been uh, told uh, to take a look in the basement. Uh, have a good day. Uh, Give him permission. Uh, take a look down here. In the basement, even I gotta duck down. I'm only five foot four or something. Wow, look at this. Guy let me come in here for free. Look at some of this. It's like some medieval dungeon. Oh my god. This is crazy. Give me a quick unedited walk around here. Feel like I'm in a haunted house here. Oh wow. So it is, it's like a full museum. Everybody stay tuned. This is going to be quite the fascinating Kingston episode. Look at these real old cannonballs. I'm touching the cannonballs. Oh, it says do not touch. Whole barrel of balls. Ball barrel. More hidden Easter eggs. Wow, this is really something. This just keeps going. So uh, there's a lot of freaking stuff in Who has to like bring up a bunch of cannonballs up and down? <laughs> yeah, really. Like, oh, we need more cannonballs. To be you, yeah. Johnny, get the cannonballs. Yeah, because these balls are huge. Big balls. Oh, and then from here, you would probably carry upstairs. Carry the cannonball. Yeah. Some of those are, that's like an iron <laughs> bowling ball. Oh, yeah. It's like an iron bowling ball, yeah. essentially. Yeah, I'm very good to those all things. I'm gonna make that, uh, make the bed really uncomfortable and share your life. Uh, I don't know if they brought the ball. Very cool place. Yeah, yeah, Come in here, check this out. Just give a simple here. donation at the door. To fire the cannons out of this monstrous thing. I know, eh? Look at that piece of steel. A piece of iron. This is like a hook lock. Oh. It's pure iron. One more look at this massive long field. Look at that. All right, let's head off.
glad we chose to come here and stay for the night in Kingston. So much to see. Very cool Canadian leaf pattern here on the awning. Right to the left of that big beautiful bear. The Grizzly Grill. It's grizzly. That's a cool setup. So we're actually thinking about doing the Burger King Whopper Challenge. We try to eat two to three Whoppers. You eat three if you want to go for the whole experience right over here at Burger King. Ryan's grabbing our order now. I think I can eat three Whoppers? Maybe only two. Maybe eat at least two. We'll see if I can do the uh, three Whopper Challenge. What do you think, Bear? Been brushing those big teeth. emerge from the Burger King with our burgers. I was just gonna head down here and see what this one was all about. This one here is a bird. It's a bird man. Oh my god, that, that, that's pretty creepy. Pretty creepy, look at that. It's got bird hands. Oh my god. There's Ryan waving me over. He's got the Whoppers. Okay, we're going for the Whopper challenge, bird. Can you eat Whoppers with that beak? Or with those hands? Whoppers. Heading down to the waterfront for some burgers now. Just past the Tragically Hip Way entry on the Leon Center. That's right. Whopper time. It's the Tragically Hip Way. Okay, so we found a spot just by the waterfront. Lots of festivities going on. Visit Kingston. We're gonna do a Whopper challenge up here. That's some live performers. So I'll probably do some quicker cuts. Pick up a coffee, right? Okay, so these are pretty decent sized. Can I eat three of these? This is number one. Going for number one, you got your lettuce, tomatoes, pickle. Always love the Burger King patty. So uh, yeah, number one. All right. Several minutes later, belging about halfway through my second burger. Ryan, too, you're almost done your second. Pretty filling, I'm getting the meat sweats. But I think it's because of the heat. The heat, it is a good burger. I'm gonna make it through two. Oh, I'll be sweating over the third. Mm. Round three. You're sweating, I'm sweating. You think I can make it? And this is gonna be tough to get the third right. <laughs> burger in. I'm sweating already. I'm, I'm gonna take my time with it and see how far we make it. <laughs> he's, he's tired of pondering. The Whoppers are pretty big. They're pretty yeah. whopping. They're pretty. It's a definite yeah. Whopper. This ain't no McDonald's. Yeah, hammer. I thought they'd be smaller. You're almost there though. Okay, Let's see if we can make it. Uh, <laughs> Round three. Here we go. Okay, so we've hit the wall. The sweats are too much. We both, both made it to the third Whopper. I took, okay, I gotta go about two bites out of my third one. So did you, I uh, see about two to three bites. All right, we got some live entertainment over there that here at the waterfront. Too. Thanks so much for coming out, guys. Nice to see you, okay, Michelle? The old train station. They got a trolley cart up here. It'd be cool to take a trolley cart ride. Say in San Francisco, but do it in Kingston as well. You got the Prince George Hotel, established in 1809 right there across the street. The Prince George Hotel of 1809. No pennies on me, no pennies. They don't take them anymore. Look at that, you got all the fresh uh, corn, tomatoes. Ooh, I do need some blueberries. They didn't have any a giant tiger, but 
Look at this, these little quaint bottles, dark, robust. Can't get enough maple syrup. And there's, look at this, Vader's whiskey barrel aged maple syrup. Okay, that looks very tempting. Uh, Vader's whiskey barrel. You got a big, big glass jug of pure maple syrup. Vader's quality since 1910. Okay, okay. Do you take Visa or Debit? Yes, Debit, yeah. It's Canada without pure maple butter. Too bad Gemma wasn't here with me. Lakeside Dog Biscuits is showing up. Gourmet Dog Biscuits, very good. Very good. Yeah, it's a good place to come. Well, we almost could have come here and set up our little Whopper Challenge right here, but Covering more ground, covering more ground. If you, you know, these are the tragically hip stomping grounds. I'm sure many times Gord Downey and company would have hung out here, probably especially in their younger days, playing some of the bars in Kingston. downtown architecture of Kingston. It's a college town. Been here for many, many, many different events in my past. It's interesting to come back and just document some of the town history. Wouldn't mind getting on that truck. Approaching the city fire department way back when. Yeah, now the Lone Star Texas Grill. It's a very cool old building. And, uh, it's now the wood fire grill. Look at that. So I'm guessing the fire trucks used to come out of here, was probably where the door was. Looking how it looks now. Now it's a window restaurant in there. Pretty cool. It states right here. John Power was the architect of Fire Hall of 1876, right here. And now it's, you know, Heritage Preservation, the Fire Hall Restaurant of Kingston, so. Great place to come eat. Look at that, very cool building. Almost Tim Burton-esque in a way. Shot of this building from the backside, clock towers. I think there's about four clocks on that tower. And that really neat looking weather vane up there. That weather vane looks nice up there. Cool looking building. And this house just across the street from me here really looks like uh, something Stephen King would li live in. You know, kind of like his house in Maine. It looks like someone's house in Maine. Would have worked really well in a movie. Remember that time we came through the forest? Tried to take a bite out of the witch's house. This building here, designed by Willem Coverdale for Isabella McIntyre in 1853. It's a good example of a Kingston limestone house. Typical of that 1800s period. It's a cool little uh, land down here. Portsmouth tra uh, sorry, Portsmouth Tavern, just right here. Tempting to get a drink, maybe some fish. Also have fresh baked bread. This is a great place to come. The ports. Check out this giant anchor over here. Look at the size of this. This was an actual used ship anchor. Look at that. Look at the monstrous chain right here. It's actually used. Now sits here at the Portsmouth Tavern. It's one giant anchor. Dang. Okay, made it over to 
Kingston Penitentiary. Barbed wire up there. They give you a few good shots of the penitentiary. Not gonna do a tour of the penitentiary. You can get paid tours, which probably take a couple hours. I think I'm going to come back and do a full tour of the penitentiary for its own episode. Much to learn and see inside of here, the cells. See what else they have to offer, but we are gonna get some cool shots of the prison itself, one of the biggest tourist attractions here in Kingston, Kingston Penitentiary. Really admire the architecture. We're on the left side, the front of the penitentiary now. Old that brickwork is. Stone brickwork. Over here, someone graffiti a face. Or if one of the prisoners put Neb up here. John Bermuda Schwartz? The drummer of Weird Al? It's a pretty big prison. Probably take about ah, 15 minutes if you were to walk straight down to the water and all around the penitentiary. We're just gonna go up the side here. So we are now entering a Correctional Service Canada Reserve. They will search you upon entry to a prison, of course, as it states on that sign. Subject to search. Subject to search. Not, yeah, not getting out of it if they ask. See the barbed wire at the top, the roof over there. Get some shots. Prison property. It's all the way back there. So stay tuned for that in the future. Get you an inside tour of the Kingston Penitentiary. I think that would be a lot of fun. One more establishing shot from the back of the prison. They probably kept most of the prisoners back here. You see a lot of cell type windows down there. Not too far from the back of the prison. You can hear a bell ring. Yeah, I just wanted to give you another establishing shot. Looking forward to getting onto this property one day doing the tour. Okay. Moving on. Guess what? Listening to the tragically hip, and we're in Kingston. It's on the radio. It's just a coincidence. We're in the home of Gord Downey and the rest of them as well.
from. You are ahead by a century. Rest in peace, Gord Downey. Rest in peace. Look at this. Illuminated. Locomotive. Very impressive. Very impressive. Look at that. Let's go. Spirit of Sir Johnny. frame. <laughs> Pretty cool. This would carry 12 tons of coal, 5,000 wow, gallons of water. Can we go see the statue? Is that there? Yeah, there. I don't think it's a bear, but we can go see what it is. What statue? There you go. Now it's complete. Kingston and Ryan's the eye. Well, the old train station, not the train station anymore, of course, but back in the 1800s, look at this old English style phone booth with payphone. That is rare. Check it out. Open that up. Look, you can step into the. They're in the payphone. This is a real English style payphone with a Canadian payphone. We went through the slot. Funky Town now, they were just playing Bob Seger. Can take tours in the Island Bell 1. I believe this is the Island Bell 2 over here. Cool looking boat. The Island Bell of Kingston. See in there, they've got restaurant tables. So yes, the Island Queen the Third, Kingston's Thousand Islands Cruises. Let's have a tour. On the Island Queen the Third. It's, uh, it's hard to see in the night. Look at the middle of the screen, that's the smokestack. It's here on the outside of the Leon Center here in Kingston. Right on the corner of Ontario Street in Tragically Hip Way. That's right, the Tragically Hip Way. I had to get this. 
So I was going to do some tributes to Gore Downey in this episode, so here we are on the corner of the Tragically Hip Way. Ontario Street and the Tragically Hip Way. Where they were from in Kingston, Ontario. Yeah, they usually have bands in here. I think I've seen a band here when I was just a kid. Fireworks and stuff. Cool clock tower up there. Let's check out this fountain. It's majestic. Illuminated fountain. What is he? Majestic illuminated fountain. Oh, I'm very warm. I want to take a little dip. Is it? It's been warm enough. I am enjoying his energy drink. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so tempting. I can smell chlorine. This is a good place to cap off the video tonight. Thanks for coming along, Ryan. Please like, please subscribe. If you're new here, subscribe and let you know when a new episode goes up. You never know what you may be missing. You never know what we're going to be doing on the Mr. Thrasher Show. From right here in Kingston. Thanks for joining in, everybody. Go back, check out my other videos, filming locations, some more to come. Museums, roadside attractions. Go back to my videos and I find some hidden gems that might really interest you that you didn't know about. Look how the water shoots to the left here. Over there. Bass player is just killing it. Oh, yeah, bass player! He's so good! <laughs> <laughs>